closed suction catheter, 72-hour stop valve type, double swivel elbow. Push the suction control knob and rotate the suction control knob until the vacuum indicates the required setting. Attach suction connection tubing to wall suction system. The recommended pressure is between 120 and 150 millimeters of mercury for adults. Remove the closed suction catheter from the package. Place the 72-hour change-out sticker over the suction control valve on the closed suction catheter. Connect one end of the double swivel adapter to the endotracheal or tracheostomy tube and then connect the other end of the double swivel adapter to the ventilator circuit. Attach suction connection tubing to the control valve. Advance the catheter through the tube into the patient's tracheal bronchial tree. When the desired depth is reached, depress and hold the suction control valve. Then, gently withdraw the catheter. Stop withdrawal when the black marking ring is visible inside the sleeve. Release the suction control valve and repeat the procedure above as necessary. Each suction should not exceed 10 seconds. Once suctioning is done, Flush the catheter by maintaining suction while injecting the desired amount of normal saline solution via syringe into the irrigation port. Depress the suction control valve to clear the tip and inner lumen of the catheter. Continue to irrigate until catheter is clean. Once flushing is completed, remove syringe and close irrigation port. Remove the cap on MDI port. Medications can be delivered via the MDI port by holding the canister in a vertical position relative to the MDI port and depressing the canister at the appropriate time during inspiration to dilate the bronchus as prescribed by physician or according to protocol. Lift and turn suction control valve 180 degrees to lock position. Make sure suction control is locked to prevent inadvertent suction. Disconnect suction connection tubing with closed suction catheter. 